Featuring now the predictable knee-jerk post-school shooting reaction from liberal politicians. They're out there already following a tragic shooting outside of Denver that resulted in one teenager murdered and several others wounded. Left-wing anti-gun politicians and the media are seizing the moment to undermine the Second Amendment. Chaos and fear are what erupted in the hallways of M School in Highlands Ranch, Colorado, as the gunshots rang out. Everyone was sort of spread out across the room, just hiding. Police say 18-year-old Devin Erickson and another student started shooting inside of classrooms just before 2 p.m. local time. We know that pistols were used in this assault. Um, the number of weapons that were uh, at the school and how they got in, um, we're not releasing because that's subject to the prosecution case. There are some students tell CBS News three classmates, including Kendrick Castillo, tried to take down the gunman. Castillo died. Within two minutes, police were at the scene. We did not exchange any gunfire with them. I believe one of them was restrained when the deputies uh, uh, came in contact with them. High school student Michael Schwartz claims that Erickson did in the past talk about causing a lot of harm and sadness. Interesting. No mention of how these schools have removed teaching basic American values. No mention of the removal of God in schools. No mention of hiding from these kids the reason we have a constitution. But that's where a nonprofit group comes in to help. We the Kids is an effort to educate school children about the founding document. And God. Imagine that. Joining me now from Newark, Delaware, the founder of the Advance it's America me. Foundation and partner with We the Kids, Steve Gronka. Steve, we look at these school shootings, and it, when I was growing up, I would imagine probably when you were growing up, uh, we didn't have incidents like this. So you have to look at how society has changed. What has changed? And one of the fundamental values that's been removed from our system of schools and from society at large, I believe, is God. And it's been replaced by this plastic video, fantasy land video game where these kids, I think, are, are acting out what they are living on the TV screen. Exactly right, Graham. Thank you for having me on. And we the kids appreciate the, the opportunity to, to talk about these things. But when you look at the past administration, that Obama encouraged people to take the streets and riot. He, he encouraged people to do that because they were the oppressed and they had the right to go out and do that. No, you don't have the right to go out and take someone else's rights away, to uh, take someone's life away in particular. I mean, just a few minutes ago, I'm mopping away tears singing about Kendrick Castillo. Right. And the, the kids at the school that, that jumped to save fellow classmates, totally contradictory to the message that we're getting out of the Demo Democrat, I mean, the Democrat Party these days. Well, you know, um, they're, they're teaching, they're allowing, the, 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 the parents are allowing these kids to just play video games um, all night and all day, uh, but we're not teaching about the real meaning of the Second Amendment. And so here the two kind of clash. But your organization, along with We the Kids, trying to potentially put back, instill back into these kids, maybe through the school system, through a series of yet to be shot and published videos, um, teaching about the fundamental values, the fundamental foundation of this republic. The videos are not produced yet, but you do have a promotional video. I have a clip, roll tape. We the Kids teaches American history and the way our government is to operate to protect our freedom and bring God back into American history for all generations. When I talk about what's missing um, in American classrooms right now, I talk about three things. God, guns, and the Constitution. That's effectively what you would be teaching these kids, correct? Correct. Uh, the voice on that uh, video clip is from John Eismo, Colonel John Eismo, retired Air Force Colonel. He's uh, a tremendous person. He's uh, not only a pastor and started ministries, but also is a second degree black belt, represents a Christian uh, martial arts, uh, a Christian martial arts group, and uh, totally focused on the Constitution and trying to get an understanding of the Constitution back into the public when it's been removed by the 
Democrats and the, and the communists are trying to take over the country. What we need to do is, is explain to young people, um, I've had to teach this to myself, but you have to explain to people the, the very foundation for the United States Constitution, the Magna Carta, and how Montesquieu uh, affected how the framers uh, built the United States Constitution, who James Mason was, uh, you know, a guy who had a huge role in shaping the Constitution, yet his signature is not on the founding document. All of those things, will they be infused into these videos? Oh, absolutely. John is a consummate uh, professional when it comes to his knowledge of the Constitution and the founding history of the country. And John's going to be doing this in conjunction with a character that We the Kids has, which is Billy Eagle. And Billy actually uh, works in conjunction with the NRA, and we promote gun safety for kids. So you're right on the money. God, gun safety, and the Constitution and the other founding documents, the real history of the founding of America. James Madison and, and George Mason, I think, would approve. But you can't do something like this without money. Um, yeah. You need funding, and uh, you have a GoFundMe account that right now your goal is $20,000, but you have uh, a paltry uh, 500 in there right now. So if folks want to help contribute, can they go to the, the GoFundMe account? They can go to the GoFundMe account, GoFundMe uh, forward slash uh, We The Kids. Uh, they can go right to the We The Kids website, which is wethekids.us, or they can send checks to Advanced America Foundation at our corporate headquarters in Delaware. And just imagine, Steve, if, if, if these kids today were taught about why we have a Bill of Rights, why we have a Second Amendment in particular, maybe, just maybe, they wouldn't be using these firearms against their friends and their neighbors uh, at school, and they would understand why we were given the Second Amendment. It wasn't to kill people. It wasn't to go duck hunting. It was to hold a tyrannical government at bay. Steve, thanks. Coming up next, stop the tape, the unconstitutional effort by blue states to keep...